As you might expect, the key to loitering in the sun's atmosphere is not melting. NASA engineers have built a carbon heat shield for the Parker Solar Probe that's just 11 and a half centimeters thick. They say it will protect the equipment that will be surveilling the sun as it swoops through its corona or outer atmosphere. The real heat shield gets up to about 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit, which we're not going to do today. But we are going to get it to a couple of hundred degrees Fahrenheit. What does it feel like? Nice and cool, he says. And the temperature of the corona is just one of the counterintuitive mysteries that the Parker probe hopes to solve. Why is it so much hotter than the sun's core, several hundred times hotter? Science would suggest that the further away from the sun's surface, the cooler the atmosphere should be. The probe is named after Eugene Parker, who formulated the theory of solar wind. He'll be present to watch the launch of the spacecraft named in his honor. In 1958, he theorized that a flow of particles accelerated into space from the sun, and that proved to be true. But scientists still don't know how this phenomenon occurs. Theoretically, such particles should cool down and dissipate the further from the sun they get, not speed up. Solar wind streams can impact satellites in space and GPS, radio waves and electrical grids on Earth. They also cause aurora when they crash into the Earth's magnetic field and are deflected. The probe will begin its first approach to the sun in November as part of its seven-year mission. We will go hotter uh, than anything has been before. We're in that three million degree plasma region in the corona. We'll gradually walk closer. We'll take sort of seven giant steps closer to the sun until we're in that final region. And as it makes those dives towards the sun's surface, the Parker Solar Probe will eventually become the fastest object ever created by humankind. Shia Britansi, Al Jazeera.